Hey guys, Mimi here. I'm looking a little crazy because I've been in my sewing room all day, but never mind that. I wanted to show you guys how I did this finish on my skirt. This is a, a skirt I finished today, and as you can see, it's kind of an iridescent brown. Now the fabric that I got was this black uh, piece of faux leather that I got at Joann's, and it's... Uh, in person it looks kind of really cheap and it's just plain black so I wanted to do something else to it so I got this idea to use some of my paint and um, so basically all you need is a big piece of paper so that you cover your work area because you're going to be working really fast and you need a sponge and you need some paint now I used this uh, Scribbles 3D paint from Joann's or Michael's um, and it's called Iridescent Golden Brown and you want your sponge to be just a little damp you don't want it wet because it's just gonna lift the paint right off of your uh, your vinyl so you just want it to be just very very lightly lamp, uh, damp so that you can spread it quickly so I'm going to show you how I did that and hopefully you guys can see. Okay, so here's just this black, boring, whatever. And so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put the paint on, and you're gonna work in long strokes. That's it. That's how fast and easy that is. It dries really fast and because it's fabric paint it doesn't alter the drape of your fabric at all. It dries dries just as pliable as your fabric is. And that is the end result of what you get. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, you, uh, you want to let it dry of course before you start sewing with it but it dries really fast because you're only using a little bit of paint maybe 15-20 minutes. Um, if you end up with long streaks because you're working really fast and if you're using uh, your entire pattern piece then you have to work really quickly and in really long strokes so that you don't get a lot of really weird um, patterns on your on your fabric then um, after the fact what you can do is you can put some on your paper and you use your sponge and you do just like you would uh, sponging a wall. You um, tap it and then you start dabbing your sponge all over the place. Um, and that'll help to create a more uh, texture to your fabric in case you mess up. You really can't mess up, but whatever. Anyway, that's it. I wanted to show you guys how I ended up with this uber fabulous skirt. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.